All right, well, so this is going to be a pretty short one. Uh, what I'm doing here is working on the horizontal stabilizer nose ribs, uh, doing a lot of deburring and some shaping of the areas between the flanges and at the tip of the rib in order to prevent uh, fastening of the skin when the skin is stretched tight over the ribs. There I'm checking to see if the, uh, make sure the flanges are 90 degrees and bending them to make them 90 degrees. Do a little fluting and some deburring and uh, yeah, so now uh, here I am working on those notches between the ribs with a file, a little bitty file, and the idea there is you want to round off uh, any sharp edges, again, so that it doesn't uh, create faceting of the skins where it's stretched over, uh, over these ribs. So I do spend a lot of time on that, and uh, there are the results. You can kind of see it. It's not great. You can see the flute that I put in that back part of the flange there. Uh, and then I go to work with my calibrated block of wood to uh, bend the rear flange on two of the ribs to 99 degrees from 90, so really 81 degrees, I guess. And the reason for that is the two center ribs, uh, so I've marked them there so I can keep up with which ones are which. Uh, but those two center ribs, uh, as with some of the inspar ribs, they need to follow the, uh, the shape of the tail cone, the angle of the tail cone. So uh, there they all are. So I wanted to also go ahead and mention that there was a pretty big difference in the parts that were in my empennage kit, uh, these nose ribs, and the drawing that's shown in the plan. So there I've got them side by side. You can see that in the drawing there are no lightning holes in the web of the rib. And uh, that elliptical hole, that elliptical shaped hole, is actually one you're supposed to cut uh, in order to allow the trim tab cables to pass through uh, the two center most nose ribs. Uh, to get to the, uh, the elevators there. But obviously I won't be cutting uh, an elliptical shaped hole in there because I've got these big lightning holes instead. And uh, then another difference you can see is that there are additional notches on the flanges, uh, you know, two more notches on the top and bottom flanges that are not shown in the drawing. And so this panicked me for a little bit because I thought, well, either I got the wrong parts in the plan or in the, in the kit or I had somehow grabbed the wrong parts off the shelf, which there weren't any other parts uh, that were anywhere close to being nose ribs, so that couldn't be it. So I did go ahead and, and uh, call Vans, uh, or I sent them an email, just to make sure that, you know, is everything right? And they confirmed it. Yes, these are, you know, the newer ribs that are supposed to be uh, part of the empennage, part of the horizontal stabilizer. And clearly they're, they're better, you know, with the lightning holes and the additional notches. So no complaints. Uh, but again, it did. I thought I'd point it out in a video because it did, you know, sort of freak me out a little bit. Usually, when there's been a, an updated part, they'll change the part number and add like a dash one or you know some indication of, of a rev number uh, to a to an updated part. Uh, and that just wasn't the case here. These were the they were labeled as the HS905, I think, uh, horizontal stabilizer nose ribs, and that's what they were called out for in the plans. So. Um, beware, you know, uh, they've updated them and, and didn't change the plans to match. No big deal. Everything works out. You can skip some steps, namely that you know, cutting that hole. Uh, but I just thought I'd point that out. So uh, that's where I'm going to end this one. And uh, the next video, I'm going to be making the, uh, the cradles for the horizontal stabilizer. So that'll be coming soon.